Hello everyone. I hope and pray that you are doing wonderful wherever you are. I am Ahmed Riaz and my vlog is with the title of Mentor Speaks. In this I shall be covering about uh, interesting traveling episodes, experiences and how to travel on a budget. Then there will be motivation talks and personal management also. You are the topics, but please feel free to let me know in your comments if you want me to talk on any of of these uh, topics on a specific note if you want okay now today we are going to talk about uh, a very interesting uh, country for which uh, till few years and even some people think of today that uh, it needs a fortune to travel to that country can you guess think of did you hear it before that you can't go to that country unless you are very very rich celebrities go other people cannot got it okay no but in uh, uh, europe it is in south asia and it is maldives the country of 1100 islands so i'm going to prove that no fortune is needed anymore to visit maldives for a duration of let's say 5 uh, to 10 days and uh, i'll start by saying that in this i shall be covering about uh, accommodation over there which is very costly up here uh, as far as major expenses are concerned about the food about the traveling inside the country and different other aspects like culture and people and what is the life like on an island uh, so all these things are going to be covered so let me start with the packing you have to pack for maldives remember the temperature almost all year is same that is tropical you don't need any warm clothes but just for rainy days you can have a complete uh, a lightweight uh, raincoat some under covering for any rainy day or something you want to feel warm otherwise you don't need much clothes as they say if you want to enjoy uh, the journey and the place then make yourself and keep yourself light i'll recommend that you should be carrying approximately approximately 6 to 7 kg including your bag this i am telling you out of my experience and it is doable right but when you don't have to carry much clothes and heavy clothes and warm clothes and uh, coats or overcoats or something like that one aspect is already covered that will be light weight and uh, as per my experience you should not book the luggage if you are traveling traveling for a joy imagine you have booked 18 or 20 kg suitcase and when you reach the destination after having transit flight at one or two places and you find out that your luggage has not been received and they say sorry we are in in coordination and we will receive it in the next one to two days where is the joy you might be having some important medicine or something like that certainly it's important that's why you are carrying it so the taste goes so please travel with your hand carry that is trolley bag cabin size only yes do have a pouch which you wear across uh, your neck the cross crossover and in that you can have the small little things trouser preferably it should be multi pouch So that you can put uh, some coins or some uh, pa- some passport or thing, and you know that everything is not stuck at one place. I learned so. Next is uh, remember on right side you will be you will be putting uh, the money matters, and on left side it will be your passport, immigration, and other documents. So multi pocketed traveling trouser is recommended. This is as far as. Uh, traveling concerns from wherever you are coming that we will talk about later but here i am assuming that you have landed on to the capital that is male and you are good to go around remaining when will when will be landing you will watch that male the capital itself is an island right and it is surrounded by on north and south east and west it is surrounded by other uh, how do i say 
that you don't need a fortune but an average budget an average but i told you but an average country you go and you are already spending only that much will be spent maybe little less how oh. now what happens is there are i mentioned there are 1100 islands there are 200 inhabited islands now imagine 50% that's around 100 are called private islands private resorts where you will not find any local living except the staff they have to name it and it's there if then any type of the of that sort of many word you need it is there nobody is bothering you it's quiet you want to cycle around you want to snorkel you want to diving you want to fishing or you do want to do anything that is all free take care but then it's very very costly even to reach some of the resorts you will take sea plane from um, near the maldives they will come on a sea plane collect you and take you on the the island no more a couple of years the government has been very kind and they made an experience which is success and that is opening up the local island so 50% as i mentioned around 100 are exclusive resorts very very expensive and 100 are inhabited by the locals i will tell you in the subsequent uh, my talks and videos i will do talk about what all is on a typical island what all is there but so far coming on to the accommodation this thing has changed the concept all together in start the people were allowed to keep the guests in one of their rooms if they have three rooms they can vacate one and the guests can vacate there but gradually go to low cost to mid level cost that you can say from about 40 dollars a night to about 80 dollars or 90 dollars a night uh, hotels are also there but let me tell you the guest rooms are as comfortable as practical one would need you see what do we know we need in a room when we are traveling and we have to you have to have number one it should be neat clean and safe right it should be comfortable it should have an attached bathroom and should be at the kitchen and it should be easy for you to go for your food and pre- if preferable they should serve you with the breakfast and mind you maximum packages over there are inclusive breakfast why do we need banquet halls and uh, media centers and so much and uh, which is there in four or five stars so this i have told you the range and uh, people have also uh, the locals have also added one or two rooms which they rent so it is part of their houses also which is absolutely separate and they have built small little two to three room guest room also and there are hotels have also come up which are uh, uh, last time what i watched was the maximum it was about 6 stories otherwise there used to be two or three stories only so this is accommodation so the main matter gone food are not costly they are very tasty and you see uh, it is best to have the cuisine and go with the local culture so what you can find very conveniently is the food which are fish based right they do prepare uh, bread and uh, so many other things the coconut is used quite commonly in their different dishes and uh, fish fish is as fresh as they have just caught it from the sea hey my dear viewers my minute body clock tells me if i speak a uh, couple of more minutes you are getting cut off yes so what do we do i will tell you that uh, what i'm going to talk in the coming videos and then we will find this video up in the coming videos i will be covering what all activities you can carry out on the island and off the island how would you travel from one island to the other what are the means available and what is the most you can say least expensive and what is the most expensive i'll uh, give my recommendation also what i have been doing we will talk with the geography of uh, uh, maldives and uh, the culture as i mentioned uh, so till uh, next time please take care of yourself and your near and dear ones and before i say you goodbye if you liked it please 
give thumbs up subscribe it share it and press the subscription button so that you keep receiving these in real time and to keep watching it for next very soon will be coming thanks